Magic Mountain, believe it or not. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, really. I mean, once again, it was my senior year of college. Huh. So they start, well, I mean, my point being is that they start putting on these very superficial yep. friendships. Yep. Where it really isn't what they want at the end. No, it's they just, don't. they want something for you, yes. from you. Yes, They yes. want you to conform to their cult. Yes. They want you to go to this full-time training, which I will talk about, and which I will talk about momentarily. Awesome. Which their full-time training being their, you know, quote-unquote Bible school. <laughs> yeah. So, and it, and it really is just a way that it's like many times that they are trying to have this one friendship with you that is not the right friendship you would want. It's right. not the friendship that, once again, is like a real friendship. For right. lack of a better term, it's probably just a fake friendship. That yeah. is something that whether they, whether or not it's like they're genuine or not, which I highly doubt there's genuine. And again, I don't really like ever associating one group of people with, you know, everyone with one group of people because I'm hoping and I'm praying and I yes. want to believe that right now as I'm speaking there are maybe some people right now in the local churches that are starting to doubt yes. and are starting to slowly come out or are starting know. to transition or even if you're just right now even starting to question like hey that thing is not off yeah. that thing is kind of off yeah. you know simply definitely you know um, you know, get into fellowship with real believers you know email Paul he's definitely a big help and just really reach out you know and realize that there's many errors over there that they're not trying to tell you. And they right. do it purposefully. Yeah, yeah. They're purposefully not telling you what their agenda is. They're purposefully not telling yes. you what exactly they want for you. They're purposefully not even sharing the doctrine, their doctrine or even sharing their you yeah. know, witnessly material with you. Yeah, and you know, I was actually, I was thinking about it this, this uh, morning that um, it kind of makes me a little angry because... You know, I, I don't know if you feel this way, Daniel, but I think, or I at least suspect that if I would have known up front, you know, when I was 18 years old and I came into this, I, I was introduced to this group in college, and uh, if I would have known up front what they really believe and who they are and what they wanted from me, I suspect that I probably would not have joined and I probably would have you know, would have been like, okay, this is something's not right here. Something's off. But because they never told me up front and they made, you know, uh, friendships with me and fed me, spent a lot of time reading the Bible with me, never mentioning Witness Lee until later on, that that is their strategy in having people let their guard down and, and getting people's trust but that's what that's their their whole tactic and that's what they did to me and that's what they did to you and that's what they've done to many other people is they're just being so so non-transparent that they're they're tricking people where otherwise if they were up front not as many people would be joining them and so that makes me mad you know when i think about that that it's just like this group is not only are they wrong you know it's one thing to be wrong and to be, you know, wrong about things in the Bible. That that's bad enough. But when you start hiding who you really are and tricking people, that's like a, another level of of evil. Right, which I mean it really does anger me and it really should anger anyone who probably may have gone out of the group who had yeah. similar experiences to Paul's and mine that were recruited on their college campus. Because I mean, I stop and think, for example, um, you know, Mormons and Jehovah Witnesses right. witnesses and I believe there was this other group on my college campus called I believe the Elohist. At least, I mean, they, their doctrine is way off. You know, right. they're not even, they're very non-Trinitarian, even, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses right. and the, you know, Elohist and the Mormon theology uh -huh. is definitely really, really off. But at least they introduce you <laughs> by who they are. Right. They're up front, you know, we're right. the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints. Yep. We are the Jehovah's Witnesses. Right. We are the Elohist. They tell you straight up front. Right. And over there, you can decide and make the decision whether or not you want to join that group or not. Right. But, you know, and it really is something that, you know, for any of you local church members out there hearing this, and again, like I mentioned earlier, I am not the type of person where I want to associate everybody with one group. I sure. want to believe and 
pray that maybe yes. someone out there is trying to do this or is trying to like yes. have some type of backbone and realize that what this is is wrong. Amen. But I mean, for any of you local church members, because I know a lot of you guys listen to these videos, yep. I just really want to tell you, you know, you, you know, shame on you. And Amen. I and I do not want to be the person to tell you this, but it's really something where I just say shame on you Amen. for tricking you know, innocent college students, which yes. college students, me, myself, I'm not really that far off from a college age person. Yeah. So I could definitely say that, you know, younger college students, they tend to be more naive right. or, you know, gullible. And I mean, for you to be tricking them into thinking that they're trying to strengthen their relationship with God for those uh, few college students out there who still desire a relationship with God yeah. and are, are getting deceived and getting, you know, tricked by these local churches yeah. where they're not even being up front at least by mentioning what their very group is. Right. You know, that is, that, that's just wrong. That's wrong, man. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, you know, I mean, bringing in and then doing all these, you know, campus, quote unquote, internships to try to recruit um, people and training other college students to trick other college students and yeah. not telling them up front who we are right. and what we really are and what we stand for, thinking we are just a non denominational Christian group <laughs> that wants to have a Bible yeah. study with you. Yeah. You know, I mean, at least, the very least, be upfront with it. You know, yeah. be upfront and say, yeah. this is the local churches. Yeah. Read witnessly, right, and it then um, the student can make the decision or not. Right, right, yeah. And that that's definitely what happened to me. And I mean, going into my senior year of college, where I was basically already a local church member, I was basically already you could even yeah. say an active local church member. Yeah. You know, going to their Lord's recovery meetings, basically in the meetings, even kind of helping coordinate things wow. on campus. Wow. you know, with the local churches. Um, which is kind of when I started to decide, you know, and, and I remember at the time I was trying to get one of my friends, you know, mm -hmm. that he was kind of seeking the Lord for a moment. Yeah. I was like, got him into the local churches. Wow. And I mean, it really does bring, you know, shame on me. Cause right. He didn't really have much of a Christian background either. Mm. And I mean, but he started reading the Bible and, yeah. you know, because he actually started reading the Bible a lot and realizing the many errors. Wow of this group, you know, yeah. getting into an argument over something like this and him <laughs> deciding to leave even before I left. Wow. It really does really realize what, you know, what these people really want from you and what these people really are doing. Yeah. Were they, were they trying to, because you were a senior in college, were they talking to you at all about going to the full-time training in Anaheim? Oh, Yeah. So they have been talking to me, they were actually talking to me about this ever since, you know, my junior year of college. Okay. I started getting very involved right. with this group. And, you know, they were basically already sharing that. He's like, oh, it's just a simple Bible school. It's a very simple <laughs> Bible school. And, you know, I went precisely because of the reason that I really wanted to find, you know, right. to strengthen my relationship with God. Yes. At the time, thinking that the God I was worshiping was the yeah. God of the Bible. Right. And that was just, you know, a... a I mean, you know, these people, they, they worship God, all right, but they do it in vain. They yes. do it in the wrong way. Amen. Amen. And, I mean, definitely, um, you know, looking back at it now, it's like definitely they were trying to reel me in little by little yes. by little into this full-time training. Yes. And when I finally made the decision to go to the full-time training, it was actually there in the full-time training. I must, um, I must confess that I actually did started having doubts about this group. It was summer after my senior year when oh, really? I actually started to watch, you know, Brother Paul's videos. I was actually, oh, wow. you know, watching his videos and I mean, I guess it was the Lord's baby precaution telling me that you're going in too deep. Mm. I kind of even, I think I'm, when I first started watching Brother Paul's videos on YouTube, even during that time, I was still kind of trying to deny it. I was probably just even <laughs> I was saying, oh, this crazy guy is probably just yeah. you know, those um, people hating on the local churches. Or right, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, and I mean, at the end of the day, for those of you local church members out there listening, I mean, and I can, I'm pretty sure I can speak for most people that are out here exposing y'all. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I hate you guys. I don't right. know. I love you guys. Yes. I will pray for you guys. Yes. But you know, you guys are, 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 what your doctrine is, is you guys are being enemies of God. Right Amen. now. And because you are enemies of God. It is really no reason why I should have anything to do really with a group like this yeah. group, and it's why I will continue to expose this group. Amen. I once again, I love you guys. I'll pray for you guys. Yes. But I mean, definitely, I will do anything in my power to expose this group to try and um, hopefully prevent many high school, college students from even joining this group yes. to begin with. Amen. Amen. So, you did you actually go to the full time training? So 
yes, I actually did attend the full time training. It was about two weeks that I was in the full time training. Wow. I mean, I, I've gotten a lot of, you know, doing a lot of fellowship, quote-unquote, with some of these local church members. It really did actually, you know, 